Bang! Knaves Knives, I'm Jared, and we have another Going Gear EDC Club package. Now, I have the link down in the description if you want to sign up for a subscription. Um, so, you can do the, the standard one, which is, I think, like 60 bucks a month, and then the premium one would be around $200, or $200 a month. Now, they have other stuff on their site as well. We're going to go into what this month would look like. So... If you were just going to do the standard one, you'd get these things right here for the 60 bucks. And then if you were going to do the premium one, you'd get all of this. So let's start breaking into it. So the first thing we have, let me move this stuff. We got the Rogue Mini. And I'm really interested in what's in this guy right here. <laughs> um, okay, so we have a little blade. With a flipper on it, looks like an aluminum body, I'm guessing. Yes, an aluminum body. Liner lock. Ooh, good flipping action. Good access to the lock bar. Very, ooh, they're very smooth. Very snappy. Um, it does not have a clip, but it does have a lanyard spot back there. Very snappy action. I'll give it that. It does have really good action. Um... Uh, sheep's foot blade or worn cliff whatever you want to call it and it looks like they only made 2500 of these and this is a usa made little knife now i think the blade steel is what os 8 yes the blade steel is os 8 and you can read about it right here really quick so colors will vary and os 8 japanese steel caged bearings so, very cool. All right, now, the next thing. Let's check out the next knife. So, this would come only with the premium package. But the next knife would come with the standard package. Am I putting this in there right? What am I doing wrong? Whatever. It's fine. All right. So, this next one, technically, I already have this knife. I know what knife it is. And um, it's actually a pretty good knife. It is a button lock. And it is the... Oh yeah, and by the way, this knife does come with extra hardware. I think all Kaisers now come with extra hardware. Which is really cool because they like to use T6s. And since they like to use T6s, it's nice just in case if something strips out. But this is the Kaiser Assassin. 154CM. Ooh. Nice stiff detent. That that felt really good. Man, that thing. Very stout detent, but in a good way because the flipper tab is a great flipper tab. Very comfortable flipper tab for a light switch or a push button. Now, one thing that's really cool is it is it has such a stout detent. No play, any direction. I can probably... Huh? No? Huh? Anyways, I was going to say I could muscle some up and down, but pretty solid yeah wow anyways no stick at all which i don't mind having a little bit of stick on a button lock um this one man you would think so with this detent such a good detent very snappy um deep carry clip that is reversible and it looks like it's adjustable too uh like i said it is uh 154 cm now my biggest gripe with the assassin which is not really that big of a gripe because it's not that bad. But the clip, man, you really feel the clip in your hand. But you can choke up and then, you, you know, you kind of avoid it. But the clip is a, is a little uncomfortable in the hand. You, you can just see it. It does have flat screws, not in set. But with this knife, you know, I, so far from my experience with my model, I've known I've mostly used it like this, you know, and then if I do need to break something down, I kind of grip it up here like this. So it really hasn't been an issue, but when I just grab it and, you know, feel for ergos, um, yeah, it's a little uncomfortable, but in practice, it's fine. Stonewashed blade, decent sharpening trail and plunge grind, could be better, but it's decent. Stupid smooth action. I love how the jimping rides all the way up the spine like that. You can really get a good grip on it. And by the way, here is the price on that knife. The Kaiser Assassin, around $70. And there's all the details on it. And really quick, let's check out the, the keys. Um, 
Yeah, right here. So, basically what it is, is it is, uh, it has like some powder or something on it. Maybe that's to stop it from corrosion or something. But anyways, it's a flathead and a Phillips. Just a little driver you can keep on your keys. You never know when you might need a Phillips or a flathead. And it's something you can keep in an EDC pouch, EDC gear on your backpack, whatever. You know, the, you can never really have too many of these you know, or something similar. Now, the next thing is this little multi-tool. Now, this one comes right here. So, you can see the screw um, key ring is $9. And then you can see the Tactical Gear Camping EDC tool, $35. We'll check it out really quick, but then we're going to get to this big package because that is the thing I am most interested in. What the heck it is? What am I doing wrong here? Oh, so you just open it up like this. And there she is. So lots of different purposes. It looks like it comes with a fire starter. So you have, oh yeah. So you got a fire striker right here. That's cool. Um, and it looks like it just wedges. Oh, this thing has little grooves in it. So this thing goes right in there. Uh, but let me see all these little tools. So right here, let's check these things out. We have... A rope tensioner, an inch ruler, so you see the ruler, a pry bar, these are little pry bars right here, not sure, oh, it's pretty stout, I mean you could get by with it um, if you're not prying nothing crazy, um, the ferro rod, which we know, can opener, right here, that's a can opener, how is that a can opener? Oh no, this. So one's a can opener, one's a pry bar. One is sharp and one is more more dull. Flathead screwdriver, that's this guy right here. Uh, metric ruler, rope cutter right here. So this is sharp right here. And then it's got a little saw blade right there too. So you can kind of go like this, hook a rope and then pull it or hook a rope and then saw it and then cut it. Um, ferro rod striker. Oh, so you're supposed to strike the ferro rod on the saw, I guess. Okay. So that would definitely work quick. And then a bottle opener, which the bottle opener is where my fingers are right now. This guy right here. Okay. So pop just like that. And then a sundial. You can see the sundial right there. Figure out what time it is, I guess. Um, I've never done that, so <laughs> uh, maybe I should learn. Um, you know, and that is kind of cool because it does kind of incentivize you to learn how to do that. And that could be something that could benefit you and, you know, possibly save your life one day um, to possibly learn something like that. I don't think there's anything else in here, but I kind of want to look because there is a groove right there. Um, Anyways, you can kind of see what we're there showing, how it goes. Um, it is a nice little way to package it, I'll say that. But, very cool. And this is also, I think this is made in the USA. I'm not positive on that. Don't, don't quote me on that part. Don't quote me on that part. <laughs> um, oh, no, made in China. Bam, right there. Designed in Australia. So, okay. My fault, my fault, calm down, calm down. All right, next, what the heck is this? <laughs> so first of all, let's just read on it really quick because this is the most expensive item in the thing. It's a Muzin, a rugged wireless speaker that is ready for your outdoors adventures, ready to perform no matter the occasion, adventure, or weather conditions. The Moozer Wild Mini Bluetooth speaker has remarkably bold sound for its size. It is IPX5 waterproof, fits in the palm of your hand for maximum portability, and has a backup flashlight just in case. And, oh wow, this is pretty cool packaging. Look at that. Let me back you guys up a little bit more. So you got the foam top, nice little speaker. I'm guessing this opens somehow. Okay, so it's just a cover. Pop it right off. 
Then we have the instructions and the charging cord. Very cool. Let's check it out really quick. Maybe I'll throw it on a charge or something. I don't know yet, but we'll see. So you can hang it from something. So if you're hiking, you can have a Bluetooth speaker or some sort of speaker. Um, it says it has a flashlight on it. Maybe we can test that out. How do you turn it on? Okay, I don't know how it works, so don't judge me. On or off. It must not be charged, I'm guessing. There's a button here. This thing spins. This thing spins um, half and half. There's also a button there. This is a switch. I'm guessing this is the charging cord. Yep, charging right there. It is very robust. It's heavy. Um, not like stupid heavy, but it's heavy. It has some weight to it. It made of metal. Um, you know, this isn't going to break off if you if you do carabine it to something. I'm curious about this light. Okay, so I charged it for a little bit. So what I noticed is you push this button down right here. And then it turns on and off. I don't know the whole thing so far, so... You know, I'm just learning. I've learned it like the past 30 seconds. So you hold this down. When you see that blinking, that means your Bluetooth is connecting. So you can connect it to Bluetooth. Right now, I have it hooked up to my last going USA here. So far, so very, very. So I can pause it right there. Play the video. Now, this is what we're really wanting to see. This thing is very loud. Um, I'm not sure how to turn the all oh, volume right here. Check this out. There we go. Nice. Let's see how loud we can get it. We're going to open these up here in one second. Let's get into these bad boys. So first we have, oh, I know what this is. This we is have. much louder than I ever would have thought this little tiny thing could produce. So that is cool. Let me pause this. Um, I did not charge it very long. For all I know, it came charged, though. I was just messing up because I didn't know about the push down button. Now this, I can't figure out is it just supposed to beep like that is that the only light I, i'm guessing this is a flashlight of some sort i just can't figure it out all right so you just hold down the power button so a lot of these things you know they try to save it to where you're not going to actually bump it and turn something on or switch something you actually have to hold it which is genius i mean i don't know about genius but it's smart so you have to just push this little button down right here and then bam it comes on uh i mean it's a flashlight um, I'm not sure how long the battery holds on for. Oh, and you can turn it up and down. Okay. So it looks like three modes. Let's turn it off. And then you have that little beeper um, one going on. Um, this is the volume. I don't know what this little guy does, though. Switching back and forth. Maybe. I'm just trying things. Because am I not hooked up to my Bluetooth right now? I should be. There we go. Okay. This one is the one on. Okay, so now can I change the. Oh, yeah, that's to switch it. Okay. So right now you can see I'm going right here. We got bird shot. Having a good EDC sets the foundation. You can tell I watch a lot of EDC. <laughs> sensible, prepper. sensible prepper. So you just swap it. So then, and then I can go back this way. This is actually pretty cool. I'm actually, uh, I actually think this thing's uh, pretty awesome. Anyways, so this is a, a. I have to say, this is a pretty cool package. Um, I uh. We'll definitely test this baby out. I'm definitely going to be uh, trying this thing for a little bit. Um, there are times where <laughs> I'd like to have a little bit louder of a speaker. So, um, I mean, obviously, when you're camping or something like that, that's where it's really going to shine for you and benefit you. You know, hiking, camping, things like that. Uh, now, just around your property, though, I mean, you could totally set this thing up. This thing's loud. So that's very cool. Anyways, there you guys go. Um, 
And if you guys need to look at the list one more time just to see it, just in case this was the whole thing was the premium package. If just the three things was the standard package, but then you added this speaker and the, the USA made uh, Rive Knives Rogue Mini. Um, not sure if that thing's really worth 80 bucks, but it is USA made. And I, I don't like to use that as a thing like, oh, well, you know, that's why it costs that much. You know, it, you know, it is still budget materials and everything, but I mean, the build quality is fine. The build quality is just fine. So, you know, I don't think this is uh, too bad of a package. $80 for this. I would, I probably wouldn't pay $80 for this. So I like to look at things like that. Like, would I pay that for that? I already know I would pay them out for the Assassin. Um, these things, nine bucks. Uh, eh, maybe, maybe. Um, this little guy, yes, I would definitely pay $109 for something like this. Um, this guy, probably not $80. Uh, but, you know, to each their own, right? But the cool thing is, is that you don't wind up paying the amount that it goes for. So the whole thing would be $200. Bucks. Even if I knocked off a few dollars off the things that I wouldn't pay that much for, it still equals, at least in this case, I can't speak for all the packages, right? I did see some, you know, that other people did that were, in my opinion, were not worth it. Um, but this package, you know, what do you got? You got basically $190 right here. So, you know, add that on there. You're getting these two things for free. So you're basically getting the tactical gear camping tool and the Kaiser Assassin for free if you bought those things. So you can kind of look at it like that. But anyways, there you guys go. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.